The Islamic State of Iraq and Syria seems to be sliding into oblivion. To explain why, we're joined live via satellite by Marilla Wex. Thanks, Miguel. I'm here in Iraq where, thanks to Western intervention, ISIS has lost considerable territory over the last two years. How did this happen? Things underwent a major shift after the Charlie Hebdo shooting of January 2015. Millions of people in New York, Toronto and Vancouver changed their Facebook cover photos to the words, Je suis Charlie. And within a matter of weeks, the ISIS stronghold of Tikrit had fallen. Sorry, wasn't Tikrit taken by Iraqi security forces and tribal allies? Almost immediately afterwards, ISIS lost their stranglehold on the Euphrates River when a Change.org petition to capture the settlement of al-Baghdadi reached 100,000 signatures. But Shiite militias were the ones who actually captured the settlement. <laughs> Technically, they fought for and took the settlement, but the emotional effect of the Twitter backlash against ISIS broke their morale long before the Shiites even showed up. There's been an extensive bombing campaign as well, though, right? That's true, but would we have known where to bomb if ISIS hadn't been doxxed by Anonymous? The fact is, the number of people sharing ISIS articles and leaving sad emoticons on those articles is simply overwhelming the caliphate. Wow, it sounds like the coalition is really working. I don't really think Thanks, that Marilla. That's... No, Emma. Thank you. Thank all of you.